Good morning, guys. Today I have this oatmeal bread here. Josh's favorite sandwich that he likes to eat in the morning. Joshua loves this cheese that we always get at Costco. And here's the ham. It's like a half of it. Left over. So what we do is just toast the bread. And when it's warm, just put the slice of cheese. This is what Joshua loves to eat, so I'll put the whole ham. This is a good kind of ham, like premium. <laughs> I'll cut it half. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. And this is it. Half of the sandwich. That's his favorite breakfast. His favorite, like recent favorite changes. Time to time. <laughs> I have cocoa almonds bread here. I got at Trader Joe's, I believe. Yeah. And normally I will have almond butter to put on here, but I don't have it. Let me Did it still sleeping? She's tired, I guess. Normally she wakes up like seven ish. And I have the banana. Just slice it. My kids like to eat banana, they're fresh. Like just yellow not like brown like this so it becomes mine <laughs> finishing up there's the cinnamon that on here put it good amount i love cinnamon looks like chocolate oh it smells good so this is it look mm. When I just eat toast, I like this jam from Trader Joe's. It's just blueberry, I like real blueberry. Blueberries are good for you. This is my recent favorite tea. It's bamboo leaf tea. I already make the water here. So I'll be drinking this all day. Here and there, this cup is huge. And it keeps the water really warm and nice. And I just got the lead. I need to find it somewhere here. <laughs> mm, this is so good. If you like peanut butter, use peanut butter instead of that cocoa. Peanut doesn't really work with me. I mean, it gives me some pimples. For lunch, Mexican melon cheese here. And I have cucumber and I have barley tea with my Hawaii cup from my friend. Hi guys! Hi guys! Did you say hi guys? Hi guys! And my dipping and sauce my for like this wow. cucumber. Joshua likes the dipping sauce also. It's a bit spicy. Um, I'm going to have a bit of soy sauce here to dip in my green onion pancake here. It's really crispy. And I have tortilla handmade from Trader Joe with cheese inside. Whoa. And I have whoa, 
onion in it just a bit. Let me see like if I see taste. onion in it. Hmm? Is there onion inside though? You cannot see. Can you see onion? <laughs> Good morning. Hi. I look very tired. And Lydia say hello. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. She's playing Play-Doh on the floor. She loves doing that. And this is my breakfast this morning. This I got from Costco with love. It's got cranberry, walnut, and it's just delicious. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna have two pieces and just gonna toast it. breakfast of this morning bread walnut and cranberry it's really yummy and I got butter on top of them and I have cafe latte love latte super good super 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 good <laughs> I love it so much that machine has been just oh amazing mm. and it's super hot and I've got some strawberries here. We're gonna have a lot of them and the bread and hey, coffee. Water. Water? <laughs> Lydia is playing right here with her cuties. Hello. <laughs> Guys, we're having dinner. This is actually leftover galbi tang, which I made it with my rice cooker, which is super duper duper easy. And this came out within 40 minutes. Boiling water. This is the simplest lunch ever. Yes, memu guksu. It's like, is it like how call it like buckwheat? I think it's called buckwheat, right? Oh yeah, it is. Japanese buckwheat. It's soba noodle. Here, Lydia girl. Hello. Okay, so this is the noodle. It's got a little bit of salty taste, so you don't really have to put a lot of salt when you make this. And yeah, it's really nice. Want you want plum? Yeah. Okay. I'll put two of them. I think I'm gonna put one more. That steak meat is for tonight and here i have tomatoes i love these little ones not too small not too big Okay, 
the noodle is all done and here I'm going to make broccoli actually you don't really have to make this but I want my kids to have some greens and my kids love broccoli I just used the olive oil there and I actually need to buy a new fry pan I got this at Costco paid about what, 20 or something like that um, I haven't used it that long but look at this here oh and these are new the whole set from William Sonoma loving these are made with the uh, olive root very sturdy I've been loading the salt container. All done. Just get the olive oil or grapeseed oil. Let's put that. Add salt and pepper. If you like to, you can toss some basil, like a little. Mm, just get a little tomatoes. Down. Here I'll put some noodle on the one side. A little bit more. By the way, I am wearing my workout outfit. Just finished and came home. So here, here is the noodle. I will add a bit of soy sauce. This one is soy sauce for Shanghai braised dishes. Add a bit, not too much. And add a bit of sesame oil. You guys, I talked about this container. Oh, it's been working so well. Nothing dripped out and I love it. So, so beautiful. And here, Just going to mix it together. And I'm going to add some broccoli. Tomato. Like I said, you don't have to have both, you know. And here is seaweed. Uh, they call it organic roasted seaweed snack. It's from Kirkland. So I got this one at Costco, but you can get this type of, you know, seaweed at Japanese or Korean or any Asian stores you can find easily so it comes with a package and you can just open it up and you will see a lot of these but then I have left over here so I'm going to use this one let me turn this one off okay that's so much better so I just do like that cut it and then just toss it on top of that beautiful noodle depending on how much you like so here you go 
super simple lunch but isn't that beautiful and also i mean it is very simple but it's healthy um i mean there's not much to it just salt and pepper i used for this one but i didn't even use pepper because my kids don't like pepper this you could use pepper but i just you know went with just salt and olive oil i used and that noodle is just easy peasy just boil it and done and put some soy sauce like you saw me doing it and a little bit of sesame oil like you don't even have to really measure seriously i mean just a tiny bit and just have a bit of that seaweed it just makes it so so tasty and it's got asian taste to it but yeah if you're not a big fan you will find i mean this my friends that are not asians they all love and yeah it's just simple beautiful isn't it also yes here is the lunch are you guys ready to have some <laughs> i'm so hungry now hello Jazz, is it good mm -hmm. yummy 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 hello hello can <laughs> <laughs> i do that Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. Ride, what are you doing? Hello. I'm dying. With that box that they are playing, this came in. And this I ordered maybe two months ago or maybe three months. I don't know how long ago, but finally got here. It was pre order yeah. type thing. It's really heavy and this is super heavy, that's why all these came in so it won't get broken. Matches perfectly, of course. Marble on marble. So, wow, I love it. I love it. It was not uh, the best price to go with, but I couldn't find anywhere else. So, William Sonoma had one all marble, like just just total marble and fruit ball that will stick up. And I thought it would be beautiful in our kitchen. I'm gonna put these up there. Hi guys! I'm about to make dinner for like 10 people, 12 including 3 kids. So yeah, I'm gonna make rice. So I just opened up my rice cooker right here and i'm gonna chop up mushroom and bell peppers and i'm gonna chop up some onions and i'm gonna make bulgogi tonight i don't remember if i showed you guys or talked about what ingredients need to go in for bulgogi check down below in the description box for the recipe for bulgogi i made that already three days ago so it's really juicy now it's in the refrigerator you will see it when i start to cook but anyhow so i made that for tonight dinner so i'm gonna just quickly make they're gonna come in about one hour
오하면 쿠코가 맛있는 시차를 시작합니다. May use two of these. love this rice cooker guys you guys know and guess what i got another one right here <laughs> it's the baby version this one happened to be uh, actually so big or too big on our countertop it's not practical i know but the color doesn't really match our countertop so i went with the silver here and smaller size so with six cup it's plenty big enough for four of us and yeah so this one what i am using is for like tonight you know when people come for like more than 10 people can have enough rice here this cooks about anything but anywho that's what i tried and it turned out so 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 good oh my goodness i need to, to show you guys how i did it but i tested and just the first time it just turned out perfect perfect so i think you guys have seen it in this video so lydia is not feeling well so she's clinging to me right here and i changed my outfit from pj to you know something better but on my face i have nothing so just holding on to lydia and i only have like 20 minutes to cook almost done i just cut up everything mushroom is ready and onion and bell peppers are all ready to just cook on the stove with bulgogi meat so yeah she doesn't have fever but she's just you know not in her best mood she just wants me to hold her and that's my rice cooker talking to me tell me to go and stir the rice <laughs> I have my favorite walk here I've had for, for a long time but still looking nice um, not the best look right but it's okay still cooks wonderfully especially like vegetables and stuff and whatever I need to cook a lot I use this because it's huge and here is bulgogi I marinated three days ago put this in the wok first Ooh. The 
second batch. This will be the first one. So what's in here is garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, you can put sesame seeds, but I forgot to actually put in here. Um, and I put maple syrup instead of sugar, but you could put honey instead of sugar, or brown sugar would be better. And black pepper, it smells so good. It's beautiful. Here I'm gonna put some onion. I'll put half of it. And I also put the cooking wine. Oh, and the rice. I made only white rice. Uh, not everyone likes brown rice, so I normally mix brown and white together. I'm gonna put some mushroom on top. And stir it. The meat is already cooked, but this way it will get more juicy. And with that flavor that's got in here, I might get even deeper. Okay. 